Welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're talking about evening rituals, which go along with last week's morning rituals, because having some steps that you go through at the beginning and the end of each day kind of play against each other. Sorry, my eyes are doing weird things today. Um, allergy season, right? Um, so let's think about it this way. What you do in the morning sets you up for success during the day. But what you do at the end of the day sets you up for success tomorrow morning. So they work together. Whatever time you get up in the morning helps you go to bed at a certain time in the evening, right? There's, there's um, a constant flow to the cycle of our days. And if we get in the habit of doing things in a certain way, it also leads to having more productive, consistent days. Um, so think about it as well, that there is an end of your work day and an end of your, um, whole day when you go to sleep and sleep is the number one tool for productivity. And so I want you to really set yourself up for successful sleep. And that comes down to less worry. Worry is the number one thing that causes insomnia, stress over worry. So if you end the day at work with an orientation session, a reset, a regroup, and a pre-plan for, for tomorrow, you are less likely to worry about things. And then in the evening, you want to set up some things that help wind you down and get ready for sleeping. So, you know, turning off the, the computer or the TV at a certain time, um, doing some sort of get ready for bed thing that sets your kitchen up for success, perhaps your bathroom up for success. Maybe you get your clothes ready for the next day um, and then do some some reading before you go to sleep to help um, wind down. Helps you get a full night's sleep and that way tomorrow you end up um, fresh as a daisy when you wake up. Um, but the other thing that happens when you prepare for tomorrow today is your subconscious brain gets to process some possible solutions for an issue or two that you're going to work on tomorrow. Um, I've always found it fascinating that I can be struggling writing something and if I put it aside and add it to my list for tomorrow, um, and then I think about it and set my subconscious brain to work on it overnight, the solution comes the next morning. I know what to do. So don't um, dismiss the fact that actually setting it down on paper and setting your brain to the task while you sleep helps you actually achieve more later. Um, all right. So that's my solution. How do I do this, you say? Well, my end of day uh, starts at about 4.30. I will do a quick review of um, any emails that came through to make sure there's nothing urgent and or to see what needs to be added for first thing in the morning. I close down all the extra open tabs on my browser. I clear my desk, put away any projects I've been working on, uh, regroup any paperwork that's come up. Um, and I look at my calendar for tomorrow. I then journal how my productivity went for the day, how I feel, what kind of satisfaction level I'm at at the end of the day in terms of was I focused? Did I get stuff done? Did something exciting happen to me? Um, I track satisfaction rather than other things at the end of the day. So I just, I just do a quick journal entry. I actually have a daily calendar that has enough space to do a full journal entry. And I just use that for my journal. It's that feedback loop. You wanna close that feedback loop. And then I turn off my lights and things um, in my office and I go to the other room and I start making dinner just so that I can have a definite definition between work and home life. Um, sometimes I then might work on another project in, in the evening if it's something kind of, um, Maintenance wise, like I do a lot of photo clearing or um, deleting uh, temporary notes, that kind of thing in the evenings. But I leave my computer on my desk till after dinner if I need it later in the evening. Um, then at about 45 minutes before I need to go to bed, I do my dishes, I feed the cat, I set up the coffee for the next morning, I think about my wardrobe for the next day. 
I brush my teeth, wash my face and get into bed and read until I'm sleepy, <laughs> which is usually about uh, 30 minutes later. So then I can turn out the light and, and get a great night's sleep. Okay, hope this helps um, understanding the difference between um, rituals and habits. Some of these rituals do become habits, but it can change depending on the day and what time of year various habits or rituals might happen. Um, but what you're looking for is getting in the automatic of it, not having to think it through every single time. And so set yourself up for success in the morning for the day and for the night before for the next day. And um, you should notice some increased productivity within just a few days. All right. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, comment, turn on notifications, and tell all your friends to join us next week. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.